Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On today's episode, we're going hey. to be going to Strawberry Can to save Micah. Just a but look. first, I want to show you this. This is something not we're a lot of people know Seed about Timber here at the Company. Appleseed Timber Company. You can actually sell them your excess stuff site, for a pretty good amount of money. Have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? It's starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. So all you have to do is hit sell goods. Now, if you are fighting a lot of people and killing a lot of people and looting, you're going to end up with the max amount of a lot of things that you carry. This is an easy way on the run where you can sell some of that off. You can also take it to general stores and sell the stuff there. Uh, some of the doctor's offices you can sell stuff. But this is just another place, and they give you a pretty good price for your stuff. I always like to try to keep at least one or two below Appreciate the maximum number of everything. That way, when I loot, I can have room to pick it up, if that makes sense. I think that's a smart way to go. All right, so we got to get our horse to get over here to us. Come on. Get over here, girl. I don't know this horse very well yet. I haven't bonded completely with it, so it doesn't quite listen like she's supposed to, but that's okay. She's a beauty. I love a big white horse. I was a big fan of the Lone Ranger growing up. It's like one of my favorite Western stories. And that horse, Silver, was just amazing. And so I just have a, a love for a pure white horse like this. Now this one I actually stole in a town. It was hauling a wagon. And I snuck up and cut it loose from the wagon, jumped on it and rode away. And ended up stealing the horse and making it my horse by adding my saddle to it. All right, who is this guy? Please. You always got to be careful because sometimes these dudes want to rob you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and I managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. So you want me to guide you back to Strawberry, huh? Yeah, thank you. A good All right, let's go. Say no. I'm going to Strawberry anyway, oh, thank so you, thank you, I guess you can just Shall walk I behind me or something. There on, the, on the back with you. Your legs work. You want to get on or no? No? Okay. Well, yes, Arthur don't want him to get on, so demeaning. I would rather he just hopped on the horse so he could get there quicker, but I don't think that's going to be the way this plays out. What are you doing You'll notice out, I have man? my rifle out Clearly just in case this is some sort of trap. Sometimes it is. And if it is, I'm ready to shoot anybody that jumps out of these damn trees trying to rob me. Oh, yes. Because the horrible the thing is not that they steal your money, because money is money. So I mean, you can get money. To see what all the fuss was. But the horrible thing well, is that it was still trying to study these elves, but I can't quite get close enough. The horrible thing is that they steal your horse, and they ride away on your horse. And if you don't shoot them and get your horse back, you lose your horse. And I would much rather have my horse than I would my money, to be honest with you. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack, and I'll show you Broadway. This guy was just steady talking. I wasn't even paying attention. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little I have no idea what this dude is talking he about. This is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. I don't honestly care either. Well, I wish I he'd just shut up credit. and come on. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some. Cowboy, uh, no offense. I mean, I don't know who this guy is, so he must not be too important to the story. I could always just shoot him in the head, but we're right here by Strawberry, so I might as well let him follow me all the way in. Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. But I kind of want to shoot him at the same time. But I think I'm going to be good this time. Oh, are we close to town? Where you at, dude? Come on. I ain't got all day to be messing with you. I gotta break into the jail and shoot up half the town. 
the ironic thing is, I'm not shooting him now. I'm going to let him live and get up here to town in case he gives me some kind of cool reward. But the ironic thing is, I'm getting ready to bust Micah out of this jail up here. And when I do so, I am going to cause one hell of a ruckus. And a lot of people are going to be coming out. Normal citizens like this fella are going to be coming out of their homes trying to kill me. And I'm going to kill damn near everybody in town. So I've kind of led this guy back here just to shoot him when I break Mike out of jail, probably. So this will be interesting. I'll try to keep my eyes open for him, see if I see him when I... Now why are you just camped there? Why don't you get out of here, dude? Hello there, sir. I got I got bad things to do hey, here. Mister. All right, you want to be the first to die? That's on you, bro. Arthur. There's Arthur. old Micah. Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <sighs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. So what you're going to want to do is walk over to this machine here. You have to grab the hook from the machine that's right here, and you have to drag it over and hook, up, hook it up to the bars. And then you got to come back over here and pull the pull lever that the that'll start the steam engine up. And that'll yank these bars out and part of the wall as well. Now, if it was up to me, I'd leave Just Micah here because I hate this dude. Come on. This dude is a first-class prick, and I, I would really love to shoot him in the face. I'll get that opportunity later, probably, but for now, I have to save him because it's part of the story, but I really wouldn't if it was up to me. Now, business is about to pick up. Things are about to get real damn rowdy real quick. Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. All right, here comes everybody. So what we have to do is try to shoot our way out of this damn town. I want to put this bandana on so I don't get... It's probably too late by now. I probably already know who the hell I am. I'm one dead or alive already. It's going to be one hell of a big fine that I'm going to have to pay. If I survive, that was my hat. Come here. That'll learn you. If I survive this, I'm gonna it's gonna be several hundred dollars I'm gonna have to pay in order to not be hunted like a dog. I'm just gonna leave my hat and roll because I can get it back off my horse again, no problem. And it's gonna get shot off again and again and again during this, because I pretty much gotta kill the entire town. Which is terrible. I don't wanna do it, but it's necessary. Now, Mike is going to go into this house to get his gun, so while he's doing that, after I kill these guys, I'm going to start looting as many people as I can. Because I'll have, like, I don't know, 30 seconds, something like that, that he'll be in the home. It'll be a little break. And during that time, I'm going to try to loot some people, get some ammo, and that kind of stuff. See how many I can get looted. He's going to go right up those steps into that house because he left his guns in there or something. I don't remember. Something like that. But I'm fine with it because that gives me time. See, I'm getting more bullets off all these guys, and I might get some other stuff like buckles and, and jewelry and money and all that kind of stuff as well. We're still early in the game, so I'm going to put this hat on. <laughs> We're still early in the game, so 
all the money you can get is great. Come on, Micah. I done looted everybody. Let's get the hell out of here. My guns. I show we got a whole him. bunch more people up here. Show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. An easy way to get a lot of headshots so you only have to take one shot is when you, do, when you put the cursor on the guy, it's going to go dead mass center. Center mass on the dude. So what you want to do is when it gets to center mass, you want to push up on the stick and it'll go up in a straight line and get up to his shoulder's head area and fire there. And that will give you a nice headshot that will... Make it so you only have to fire once. Now, I didn't do it there at the end because I'm just trying to get back on my horse and get the hell out of here. But when you have time, that's something that you definitely want to try to do as much as you can. Because it makes it a lot easier. And we're going to have guys coming up on every side of us here for a little while. We're just going to try to shoot down as they come so that it doesn't get too overwhelming. If you kill them as they run out, this part is manageable. If you just try to run for it and you don't take these guys out, very quickly it becomes a situation that you do not have the ability to control anymore. Because you'll have four or five, six people just shooting the hell out of you. As you ride, it's no good. So it's very important to kill these guys as you go. Come on, horse. That was there we good go. Shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. You and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. And that is why we had to do this mission, to get this offhand holster. This gives us the ability to wield two pistols at once, which is awesome. That helps a great deal. So that's about all the time we have for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. And until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you. And so do I. Bye-bye.